Today we are in Bath, Somerset, a beautiful historic heritage site built around its natural mineral hot springs. Bath is the first place on our great adventure to experience afternoon tea from around the country. We aren't just looking for the traditional afternoon tea, we want to know how it can be a little bit different. We are here at the historic Pulteney Bridge right in the heart of Bath. The bridge was built by Robert Adam to connect Bath to the other side of the River Avon. Nice one, Robert. It also features in the film Les Miserables. I won't be doing a Russell Crowe today and jumping off the bridge. I'm just here to sample Britain's best love tradition, afternoon tea. Come on, let's go for a brew. First stop on our list is Bridget's Bakery. It offers afternoon tea with a French twist. Afternoon tea has been around for hundreds of years, dating back to the early 19th century. People would only eat twice a day, breakfast and dinner. This wasn't enough for some. Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, was one of these. She found that she was a little bit peckish in the afternoon and her solution was to have a pot of tea and a light snack in a boudoir. She'd invite her friends over to enjoy this and it caught on. So, thanks Anna babes. You guys have to decorate a cake and if you're the winner, you get some free afternoon tea today on a bus with me at Bridget's, just around the corner. Are you accepting the challenge? Yes, I do. Have you got what it takes? Game? <laughs> Game. He's like, oh, I'll do it. Let's see. Take a cake. Have you got what it cakes? Uh, you quite... Cake. Pick a cake? Pick a cake? Pick a cake! Pick a cake! Wise choice. It's a good looking cake. <laughs> you quite... Have, have you got... Yes. ...what it cakes? Right, okay, I'm, I'm handing you this. I trust you. Okay, there's your icing. Right. Good luck. Be careful. You trust me? Are you sure? And as inventive as you can, okay? Okay, so you've got to be really inventive. <laughs> Go for it. No pressure, but you might lose. Do you want me to hold it for you? Do you want me to hold it? Yes. I'm happy to hold it. Do you want me to hold it for you? Um, in that. Right. A swirl. Original. Original? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Oh. Oh, have you done this before? Well. Oh, so it's a, that's, di that's different. I like it. Well, that sort of yeah. well, it, blame that on air in the back. Yeah, exactly. You can get as much icing on me as well if you want. I'm happy, I'm happy to eat it. Very <laughs> nice. No. Oh, oh. See, I feel like that was a mistake, but it's actually gone quite well. Do -do, do -do. Do -do -do. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. Hey, this is like. Have you done this before? Yeah, I'm going to have to go around a second time. This is amazing. It looks more like an ice cream, but I'm down with it. Like, I've gone on Great British Baker. <laughs> Oh, I, I can dream. <laughs> okay. Bigger. Bigger, Obby. You're like a piping queen. You've got the piping dream. Edgy. I like it. It's like a Disney cake or something. Lean, mean piping machine. I like it. This is pretty different, actually. Wow. Nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so good. Well, that is. Batch <laughs> cakes are good. It's a pun. Right. Okay. <laughs> Finally time for some afternoon tea. Bridget's very own afternoon tea bus. All aboard! Bridget's Bakery offer a range of afternoon teas, from vegan afternoon tea to sushi afternoon tea, all of which you can enjoy on their buses. Their bus tours were in fact recently voted the best hen party venue. Not bad at all, eh ladies? I'm here with Brigitte's main guy, JP. That's right, isn't it, JP? That's right, that's me. That's Hello. Right. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, I think. So basically, tell me a bit about the history of Brigitte. What, what, where does it come about from? 
Well, we first opened our first bakery back to 2010. That was nearby okay. London Eye in the county hall. Yeah. Um, we specialize in afternoon tea, as you may see here. And we opened the second one in 2012 um, in Covent Garden. Okay. But there's over 252 places in London providing what we do, which is afternoon teas. Mm. So we need to find a way, you know, to stand, stand out of the crowd. Yeah. So we had already a special twist, which is the French twist, but still there wasn't enough. So one day we were just walking randomly and discovered um, one of these root master. But it wasn't like normal root master. Um, this bus had table inside and we're like, this is it. Should do that. Cracked it. Yeah. So just combine. It's a three in one. You have the yeah. wood master, um, the afternoon tea, and the tour. So that's yeah. can't get any more English. That's me. <laughs> you are pretty English. <laughs> <laughs> Trying my best. Yeah. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank um, you. Why why Bath? So you have a London base, and that's where you started. Yeah. Um, why Bath? What made you guys? Well, Bath is beside the fact that it's an amazing city. Mm -hmm. It's just so beautiful so green um the history of bath is also super interesting it's yeah. an old roman city i won't spoil it you'll see it um throughout the tour yeah definitely. but one of the other thing that attracts us to to bath is that actually this city is promoting new businesses independent mm -hmm. businesses and this is who we are we are still small business independent yeah. and they are so welcoming so yeah we love it i think bath as well it, it's quite british isn't it so it you is. have a lot of tourists here and what do tourists want when they come to Britain? It's, it's afternoon tea with your French twist. Exactly. You know, I, I like it. I really, really do like it. So what, especially about the cakes, what, what is, you know, English cakes, what is French about them? Um, How have you made them French? We, we kept two traditional cakes um, and the scone later on, you will see it. Um, so basically you have the cupcake and the lemon meringue, which are the, the English touch to the afternoon tea. Yeah. And our special touch are um, this little one. It's kind of a puff. Um, okay. We call that chou à la crème in French. Chou à la crème. Chou à la crème. Yeah, you... Chou à la crème. Oh, you got it. I love it. Smashed it. You should join us. Um, Am so... I? Yeah, you got it. Um, so we got the chou à la crème, which mm -hmm. is not a traditional puff you would have in any mm -hmm. other um, French patisserie. It's slightly different. I won't spoil it, so you need to give it a try. And this one is actually one of my favorite ones. It's a little verin. So the base is red fruit and you have whipped cream and coconut, which is so delicious. Um, so yeah, that's what we do in terms of afternoon tea, but we also have all the cakes, which I believe you'll see very soon, so yeah. Okay, and if, and if you were a cake? Say again? If you were a cake, what cake would you be and why? Mm, I would be chocolate based cake. Me sure. too, JP, we're on the same page. Definitely. Aren't we? Get chocolate. Um, I don't know. Well, if you look at this little cupcake, for example, it's quite pretty. So. It's a spitting image of you. It's not naked. <laughs> it's not. So this cake has dignity, definitely. It's got a jacket on, I like definitely. it. Definitely. It's got two and little eyes at the top. You got your two eyes. eyes yeah. JP's eyes. Yeah. Crust eyes, but eyes anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, eyes. I don't know, I just love chocolate, so yeah, I would too. be something that everybody loves. That's a bit narcissistic, is it? Isn't it? No. That's the French touch. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, JP, well, you've been brilliant. Thank you so much My for pleasure. having us. And yeah, brilliant. Let's tuck in. Yeah, enjoy. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Is that French? That was French. Yes. Here we go. You just killed me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Mom, that is so good. So, my time in Bath has come to an end. I've drank a lot of tea and I've eaten a lot of cake. If you're ever in Bath, please look up Bridget's Bakery. We've had an amazing time here. Until next time.